Welcome, uh, my name is Larry Young. I'm with Young's VOS. Some of you may have seen my webinars in the past or been inside of one of my classes. But uh, today we're going to be talking about how to customize your tool palette slightly. In particular, we're going to add text and lines to the tool palette so that you can uh, customize the line types that you want to use and not have to go out there and draw lines on different layers by changing layers. So I'm going to right click go to a new palette and I'm just going to call this custom doesn't matter now I'm going to come out to my drawing and draw a line with the regular line command doesn't matter what layer it's on I'm going to click on that line left click and hold the mouse down while I drag it into the tool palette and you'll see that there is the line command now inside of the tool palette now the way it stands right the moment if I click that command, it puts it on the current layer. You notice right here that the layer is layer zero. So I can come out here and draw lines and those are on layer zero. Well, that's okay. Now what we're going to do is create a line up here, maybe for the center line of the roads, uh, maybe an easement line down here, and maybe even a boundary line. So we'll have three different line types right on this same palette here. You can do that by copying. All I did was right click, hit copy, and right click and hit paste. Now right click and hit paste. Now that I've got my three lines on there, we'll go about changing the properties so that they go on the appropriate layers for what kind of lines we had. First things first, let's rename this one to center line. Doesn't matter which order I do them, I can fix the properties first or rename them. I choose to rename them. This one's going to be called easement and this one's going to be called boundary line. Okay, now we'll go into the properties by right clicking. Go to properties. Come down here and say, well, for the center line, we're probably going to put it on a center line layer of some kind. So in this case, I've got the NCS compliant template that I'm using. It has all these layers in it. And I'm going to go down here to the road center line right there. It probably already has its own colors. We'll find out momentarily. If you choose to, you can change the line type. Of course, that's easily done to change it to a center line. Uh, we could change the color and force it to a different color here. That's fine. We can change the line weight, the uh, textile. Well, in this case, we don't need a textile. And hit OK. First one is changed. Likewise, we're going to right click on the easement, go to properties, change the layer, and this time we're going to change it to something like uh, C easement. <clears throat> if you're not familiar with the NCS layering standards, it might be wise to look into that. C in this case stands for uh, civil design or a designed or a proposed type of a line. Whereas if you look down here further, I'll just go ahead and show you this real quick. Look down here further, you get to something that starts with V. All of the ones that start with V are survey or things that are existing for the most part. Okay, so I've got it set to C easement. I'm going to hit OK. Likewise, we'll go to the boundary line, right click, go to properties, change that one to the C boundary, hit OK, and now I'm ready. So now it becomes a matter of, and I could have 10 or 20 of these lines uh, based on what I do as a profession, what exactly do you deal with the most? Well, you can put in, uh, for example, you might want to just put in center line, curb, back of sidewalk, front of sidewalk, whatever might be different in your um, expertise. Another person might have all the utility lines, phone lines, uh, uh, gas lines, water lines, storm drains, etc. So you could even have different palettes with different line groupings on them. And what this does for me now is, again, here's my layer zero. As soon as I click on center line, you can see it moves to a different layer. And I can just go out here and start drawing my center line in very quickly. Uh, I believe yeah, I didn't set my scale right on my uh, line types. It should have been a, a uh, center line line type. So let's zoom out here and see what happens here. Let's do a regen, zoom out a little further and try it one more time. Okay, there we go. If you zoom out far enough, then the scale uh, comes into play and you can see it is in fact a center line. Okay, so we'll get rid of this one up here. And we'll zoom out a little further. There we go. Okay, now I can put in the easement line, and you can see it's the same thing. It goes on the easement 
layer right here you can see it's kind of a gold color so hard to see on this one or I can go to boundary line you can see that's going to be totally different and there we go now on those I did not change any kind of line types I could have by uh, coming down here and saying line type by layer I could have made that dashed okay and now when I go out and click it I get my dashed line so now I'm able to draw things very quickly and jump back and forth between a center line to an easement or based upon what your design doing or what your design is like um, this makes it very much uh, faster so to speak so let's go ahead and erase those I'll show you a couple of more little tricks here we're gonna go ahead and separate this now in fact I'm gonna come up here and right click and say add a separator and I'm gonna add uh, oops let's not do that let's right click and add text and we'll put lines up here and then we'll come down here and do the same thing we're gonna add a separator and add text and these will be called text because I'm gonna do the same thing I did before okay this time I'm gonna put some D text on and uh, let's see we'll just pick a style here of standard that's good enough okay 0.2 inches high there we go this is standard style and there it is now if I drag that one by left clicking hold the mouse button down and drag it onto here I get a dtext type of command now likewise I can copy that right click and paste it and I've got two now now what's happened is it's come in with this style that I had before so if I right click and look at the properties you can see I've got standard well, I don't want standard I want to make one of them uh, oops not the textile let's see two, two, two. where did it go okay that's fine we'll just use Arial we'll change one of them to Arial now when I click Arial change the other one we can change that one to a different type like Roman click it come down here and whatever my Roman line type is and text font and etc etc that's what I get so a couple of very quick modifications and we could have things up here like L100, L200, uh, L240, Roman, times Roman, times uh, whatever we want in there we can basically put in there so uh, hopefully that helped you out and gives you some shortcuts by all means visit us at www.youngsvos.com I have a lot of YouTube uh, videos up here and there'll be more in the near future thanks for joining us